put any effort on me. What the life is a kano uh, is the name of the show. Uh, guys, you don't know how excited I am and nervous at the same time. This is our first episode of this podcast. And today we got a special guest in the building. Ladies and gents, please welcome me. I mean, help me to welcome this beautiful soul sitting next to me right now. Silka, heavy in the business, Vida. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm still wondering why did you choose me to be the first one on this program? Yeah, man, it's been a long uh, coming. You mm. don't know how much effort I put in this thing to work. Eh? Yeah, no, no, I, I uh, can see it. Yeah. On my way here, I was telling one of my friends that I'm coming to interview you. Mm -hmm. Then the guy was like, which Silka? Then I said, Silka Vida. <laughs> ah, I love that woman. And it's Vida for me. Like, Vida for you. What's so special about Is Vida your surname? No, Vida is a name that my dad used to call me. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, wherever I am, I bring life. Vida means life. You know, so my dad loved the fact that whenever I'm home, there is life. So whenever I'm not around, things are, you know, it's always quiet. People are serious. And but if I just enter that house, any place, then there is so life. So you have been that girl. Yes. <laughs> so it's not an, I can't really say it's a name. Yeah. Should I call it? But that's, it's in Portuguese? Yeah, it's in, in Portuguese. It's Portuguese. Vida. Oh. Basically means life. Yeah. You guys, from that side? My dad is originally from Angola. Was he from Portuguese? Cad. Eu fala, mas eu porque estou a aprender. Oh, okay. Eu também estou a aprender. Yeah, uh, uh, Silka, I know uh, I'm not the only one um, who want to know more about you. And by the way, mm -hmm. those pictures on social media, they are not doing you justice. Oh. I know you look good, there, but you are even... You look more beautiful in person. You're not the first one to say that. I hear yes. that a lot, that I'm more pretty in person than in pictures. You know, the phones, uh, cameras, we edit, you know? These things are trying to, to wash other ourselves. Other girls is a vice versa <laughs> now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I heard that. They look like Beyonce. Uh, you know those American, uh, mm -hmm. they look like Beyonce on, camera? on cameras, but mm. they look like Waka no, Flock in person. So yeah. thank you, you can take this as, as a compliment. Thank though. you for the compliment. Uh, uh, Silka, please, mm. Mm, can you take us through your childhood? Like, how was your upbringing look like? Because to me, you look like you had it softer. Eh? Mm. I, I don't really know what you mean by soft, but I was raised in a family with too much love. I was married by, I mean, I was uh, raised by married couples. Yeah. I was born in marriage. I'm not an outside kid or whatever. I was born in marriage. So I don't even know anything about step parents, you know, all those oh, things. Yeah. I, I don't know how life is with somebody having one parent hmm. and the other one is not there. I had too much love, but again, guide with uh, respect. Um, told what to do and what not to do. Yeah. Even though as we grow, we mess up. I no, 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 no. Yeah, I messed up. As I a young person, a you... at a certain age, uh, very early, I became a mom. How old were you? I was 16 when I got pregnant, and I gave birth when I was 17. One of the most toughest experiences yes, in my life. Yes. It was not easy. I was bullied, I was humiliated, insulted, laughed at, you know. But one thing I never did is give up on life. Uh, I made it, and uh, here I am. That's how short I can actually put my life. Wow. Yeah. Okay, you uh, because I always see you driving that side of Omthia. I'm from that side. No, I'm not from Omthia. We actually just came to build in Omthia in the 20s. Uh, we, as I said, my dad is from Angola, so we always had the village, those sites. Oh, uh, that's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so my dad had to decide to just bring up something in oh, Namibia. Yeah. yeah. So that is how we ended up there. And my mom used to work in Omuthia. So when my dad got uh, retired, we couldn't travel all the time to Angola, to the village anymore. Oh, yeah. It's, so it's we it's ended up in Omuthia. So I was, I'm not in Donga, actually, to say. You are like Kwanyama. Yeah. I'm Kwanyama Nganjera Himba. No, yeah. one, no wonder you're, you're that beautiful. Oh, <laughs> it's mixed. <laughs> you got all the flavors. Thank you. And yeah. school? Because which, how old were you when you guys moved to the side of Omthia? I was done with school, actually. Uh, that was the year I finished my grade 12, 20, 2011. That's the year we moved. So I grew up in Ondangwa, but schooled in Ochivarongo. Oh, so okay. every holiday I come to Ochivarongo, I schooled in Ondangwa, then I went to school in a refugee camp, Osire. That's where I completed my grade 12. 
No. Yeah, I enjoyed the life of refugees. Bra I, I'm always, um, especially when somebody's telling about both parents, because I didn't grow up with my father. So I was, the very same day I was born is the same day my father left this world. Oh. So I always, you know, want to experience that feelings like, because my mom got so much love mm. to give. And I I'm always you. imagining, like, if now they were. No. You know, uh, there's something I used to talk uh, about when it comes to this thing of parenthood now, uh, mm -hmm. how I grew up. I, I feel like, uh, it's so, uh, I'm so sorry that I'm going to say this. Yeah. Uh, it's bad that you lost your dad very early, mm -hmm. but it's much better because you haven't experienced him. Oh, For me yeah. that have experienced my dad, trust me, mm. <laughs> that thing that she had. So, you know, I lost my dad uh, two years back. He just completed two years. But every day it feels like yesterday because everything, every moment in my life, my dad was there. You know, he was such a responsible father that he never gave us a gap to feel that maybe one day he won't be there, you know. So I got so used to my dad. I'm, I'm one of the connected ones to my father because I stayed with my father. My father used to work in Osiri. So I schooled Where in Ochivarongo. It? It's... Um, few kilometers between Ochivarongo, Okakarara, Okahanja. So uh -huh. it's just somewhere there. Just yeah, there. yeah. So now I, I stayed so much time with my dad. Mm -hmm. He taught me everything growing up. That's why many people don't understand how I live my life like I'm, I'm a go-getter. Yeah. It's because I grew up with a man, not with a woman. Not with I, a I grew woman. up with my dad and I, I can fix anything, man. Anything break, uh, breaks at home, I can do those things because I've been with my father. He taught me all those things. So now when he passed on he passed on in my presence that's the no sad part of way. it yeah i took care of him until his last breath i was there with what, him what you happened know, to him uh it was a complication of COVID and cancer oh. so he was on this uh cancer treatment and at the same time COVID came in so it was not easy for him he fought though but uh he couldn't take it it was very hard a horrible year in my life, please. I never want that 2021 to repeat or come back in my life again. Ooh, it's giving me goosebumps. Yeah, no, it's not easy. But Trust COVID, me, COVID took a lot of people, right? Yeah, it took a lot of people, but it took the most. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. It took yeah, the yeah, most. Because yeah, yeah. we never, you know, it's not being selfish. Mm -hmm. We always hear somebody's sister passed on, brother passed on, mother passed on. But when death came in our house, it hit on the head of the house, you know? Yeah. My dad. So it was that thing. Now I believe that people really die. You know how yes, tall my dad was, how big he yes. was, and then death took him. I came to understand. Even today, if somebody's telling me somebody died, it's like uh, you are telling me nothing. Because you are broken. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's normal, but it can happen. One, yeah, yeah, it can a very happen. important person in your life. Like uh, some people were making fun of it. Apparently, um, COVID only took people with uh, like fat bank accounts. My dad didn't but, have uh, one. Uh, but 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 uh, jokes, maybe the jokes bank aside, was in, <laughs> jokes in aside, was was your father loaded, bro? No, he was just a caring man. And I, only now, when I'm growing up, I, I I'm trying to wonder how did my father made it being a police officer, but wow. with everything, the life he gave us. I never left a fancy life, a rich life, but I never left anything that yeah. I can tell you. I never lacked anything. I had everything I needed. That's why I speak as I want because everything was there for me, mm. has been there. And now even that my dad is there, is not there, I choose not to lack because I don't want to disappoint him. Oh, I wow. work hard to make sure we keep it the way he left it. Please, you need to keep that momentum. And he's watching wherever he is right now. And school, uh, you completed your grade 12 in Chochevarongo, right? Osire. 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 Refugee camp. I never heard of that. It's a refugee camp in Namibia that have um, it, it have uh, give uh, given home to refugees from different refugee. countries. Yeah. So my dad was working there. That's how I ended up schooling there, mm -hmm. and I love it there. And uh, after grade twelve, after grade twelve, I left my life. <laughs> Number one, I didn't really have the best marks from grade 12. Yeah. So I was not really motivated to go back to school to, to school, do yeah. much. So what I did is because we mostly used to go to Angola with my dad. Yeah. Yeah, the family actually. Where's where, where part of Angola? Uh, from Onjiva Deep. Because oh. it's Kwanyama, those Kwanyama. Oh, yeah, yeah. So when we used to go there, 
as time went, as I was now growing, I started realizing there are things I can sell from Angola to yeah. Namibia because yeah. the rates in Angola now are a bit low. So uh, the currency, so whenever you buy something in Angola, you can sell it in Namibia, you make more money. Yeah, yeah, so that definitely. is how I just started doing things. And when the money started becoming sweet, I never thought of school. But uh, the lucky part is I had my dad again. Yeah. Here he comes again. <laughs> he had this thing that you, one thing about you, you are too smart. Hmm. I think, and he knew that I didn't fail my grade 12 because I was dumb. Is because I was going through a lot as a, a kid lot, already. Yeah. Imagine in grade 12, I'm already a mother of a three-year-old. I'm responsible being a mother. I'm a, you know, it's that time where I felt like, no, I didn't enjoy my youth. Let me enjoy my youth now. But my dad was there to, to always remind me that one day, you will need papers. So luckily, I had friends that were matured. Yeah. And uh, I remember it's a lady, but she passed on in a car accident, who just one day told me that, you know, me, I became a, 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 a social worker. I studied through mature entry. So Silka, the way you do things, the way you talk to us, the way you... Because one thing, it's nature mm. that I have. Whenever I talk to somebody, I think people feel different. It's yeah, something right. in me. It's not that it's something I created or whatever. And this lady told me, no, you have advised me and you are so young. But things that you tell me, I learn a lot from. Why don't you go and do counseling? And so that maybe one day you can become this and you just go through it through mature entry. Yeah. Now, that time when she told me, I think I was 23. Yeah. And then when I'm 25, I can enter. So that's what I did, actually. What so I left my world. I enjoyed my life. I mm -hmm. traveled. You did everything. Yeah, yeah. I, I had money that time. I had money. Oh. In that moment where I, I could count money in my account. Damn. Very young, but I had money. And I was always lucky to get people that would appreciate me. Mm -hmm. One thing about me, I look unserious. But when you get to know me, you'll see I'm serious. So whenever I, 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 I meet like a man, he'll always take, uh, take me serious, yeah. invest in me, help me wow. here and there. And that's when also life gave me an opportunity to go back to school. When I got, uh, when I turned to 25, mm -hmm. uh, luckily I was with the right person that time. Yeah. He helped me here and there. I could also manage, and that's how I ended up have, uh, being a, 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 a honors holder. Oh, honors because I, holder. I, I, I saw one of your video where mm. uh, you are having maybe three qualifications? Not three, many. Five or six, some yeah, of maybe there? six. I have because uh, I lost. I, I have a lot of uh, qualifications. One thing about me: if you see me traveling, if it is not business. It's cool. It's something I'm doing a certain course. Isn't yeah. Like I said, I was in India. Uh, I did um, English communication, mm -hmm. IT. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a course sponsored by the government of India. Mm -hmm. We still have a good communication wow. connection with the Indian embassy, embassy. The gover uh, government. Yeah, and um, I did some other things of HIV, mm. uh, AIDS uh, courses, uh, testing. I, I, I did HIV testing. I can test. I'm a qualified wow. HIV tester and counselor. <laughs> and apart from that, I did uh, sexual education. I studied sexual <laughs> education. So I know most of those things. I, I did family matters. I, I, I studied family matters. I can talk to people in family. So most of the people, when they see me talking or advising, they wonder, where does she get all this information? Oh, yeah. Apart from the nature inside me, I read a lot. I study and I always add on my knowledge. Yeah, then other many things, computer, and uh, you can name it. And now this uh, HIV management that I did with IUM. Damn. That's the honors that and I hold. Uh, all those now courses that you did, are they uh, complementing each other? Yeah, they are. If you, if you look at mostly everything that I have, they are complementing. They are and connected. Business. Yeah, they are connected. Uh, and social, mm -hmm. it also have to do with psychology. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And as I say, like, as I am speaking to you right now, mm -hmm. I'm busy with my master's. Eh, in what? Strategic management with UNAM, NBS. Jesus. <laughs> so that's what I'm busy with. So for Check. me, it's books. It's all about books. Books, yeah. yeah. Knowledge, knowledge is power. Yeah. Okay, guys, um, if you find yourself in Angwediva, please make a turn at Angwediva Select. Enter the fresh stop, please, and ask for grill to go. They have sales there. Please make sure fresh top, fill up, and fresh up. Uh, from the, uh, the beginning of this interview, um, you never mentioned God. It's all about your father. Uh, do you consider your father as your ancestor? Where you, do you pray to your father? I pray to the same God everybody prayed to. 
-hmm. but that's where it ends for me okay yeah i, I was just told there is god my 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 parents made me believe there is god mm -hmm. but i don't want anybody to come to me and force me to believe in bibles and i believe that those things are just written by people <laughs> yeah 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 the creator is the we can't have i know i didn't fall from where this tree mm. somebody something it's created something. all this yeah something is there so let me just be there believing that there is a god yes and whoever said that the God is not seen was smart because some of us would want to see the, uh, him because I, I'm this person that want proof. You know, I'm a person that wants proof. You'll never make me believe something that has no proof. But the fact that my parents, my mom, hmm. my mom is such a believer, made me believe that there is God yeah. I had to follow because this person gave me life, took care of me, did everything for me. Who am I to say there's no God if she's saying there's God? So you're a Christian? Yeah, I am a Christian. I'm Dashashua. I'm on the focus on I'm on the focus on But when they look at me, they think, uh, are you a No, I'm Elson. Elson. Yeah. Uh, ah, because we are starting to <laughs> scare these church ladies. Eh? Mm -hmm. Especially this one that are Indo Pentecostal churches or what? what? I'm a Pentecostal on the dance. I like things. Me, I go, I, for me, I feel like church is just another therapy. Yeah, no, no. It's yeah, church is just are. another therapy. Some people, when they are going through life shit, they go to clubs, they go mm. to drink alcohol. Some, they, they go and sleep around. They go and fornicate and whatever. Some of us, I choose to go to a church, the a church. Pentecostal church, where I just go and, and you just dance. just shout hallelujah. I, I cry, I <laughs> cry. Because that is one of the opportunities you can get to cry for no reason, you know. Because everybody is just there dealing with their own prayers, mm. their own problems. They cry, they do whatever. So I, I really love those churches. And I hate people that are against them. Because if you don't like something, leave it. Leave it, yeah. Why do you have to be? You are a drunkard. You drink. You drink mm, how you, you want you, you, with your money. So spend your money on what makes you happy. Allow those that are spending their money on those churches to spend it. It's how they want to live their life. Mm. Why should you be against those people? Yeah. And uh, did you watch this uh, BBC News documentary for TB Joshua? There's nothing that have hurt me as that thing, hey? Jesus. That uh, story about TB Joshua <sighs> has really, really, really hurt me. If those allegations are true, me. Which I don't believe. I'm sorry to yeah. say this again. Mm -hmm. For me, <laughs> being as Vida, mm -hmm. uh, you can't tell me anything and then I believe. Because 90% of things that are said ever since I became famous yeah. are lies. Sometimes I hear a story about me ne, that myself I'll even doubt maybe I did it and I forgot. Shashi, the way of story at Ruakumwe, of Shimoshiwa man, it sounds like it's really true I did it, but I just forgot. So I, I, I don't believe what people said about TB Joshua not going to say how can they lie how can they do mm. that whatever propaganda was formed to be whatever it is how it's benefiting people i don't know but for me the only thing that hurts me when it comes to tb, TB joshua yeah i'm not a, a believer ne? I, i'm not a believer in this pentecostal yes. church i'm just a person that is an attender i go there because i love it i'm not a believer of tb joshua i'm not a follower of tb joshua no this i'll make it clear I just love the fact that TB Joshua's TV gave hope to many people. Many people in this world are going through a lot. lot. And they had hope in this television. You find a person saying, ah, no, I'm not feeling well. Ah, and TB Joshua. Um, and it gave people hope to life. And yeah, you know, when, when TB Joshua died, faith, eh? yeah, when TB Joshua died, how the wife continued strong, she gave hope to many widows. Mm. That How that woman just continue being herself. So it, 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 it really hurt me because I know many people are going through a lot right now and they don't have a shoulder to lean on to, as to lean that on, TV. Yeah. That TV was a shoulder to lean on to many of us. Me, even who is not a follower sometimes. Because they said if you are not infected, you are affected. For me, I, I'm not infected. Yeah. But I'm affected because people that were leaning on that are people that are close to me. Now those people, when they are not happy, it also affects me. But, you get but, but it. But what do you think maybe people came up with all those It's just propaganda. Propaganda. You know, people sometimes they look at things, they, how can a television like this be as powerful as it is, mm. but the owner is dead? You know? And there are other pastors well, and whatever who saying, have... Uh, I know Oshima Nakucha, Indapol is coming. 
for him okay. because of those things. Mm -hmm. Because now there, if you watch, uh, they said uh, I don't know if it's episode two. Mm -hmm. Apparently, mm. apparently, allegedly, he killed himself because you know that he won't survive the jail time and all this. Eh, possibility, but for but, me. But why do you think that these back, people are coming, lying? Why do you think? Back, coming back to that story, for yeah. me, I will still say I will not believe. Oh, problem, I'm on the run, Dibi Poroporo, Ihapu. Itorombwenge would defend your Koshima and Dudeko Kuchoshika. Yeah, because oh, oh. I have been, I, I was accused on things, ne? Hmm. Trust me, that really sound like it's real. And when you hear people talking about it, you can't even get angry with them because who doesn't believe a story like that? Arushengenga no vato kora kuku tura pedu. Toi pedu nene. Ngashine pe ife tidi joshua ke no mwenyo kui defend a kupopia shike. How do you come and want to get angry and sue a person that is dead, brah? How do you want to come and deal with a dead person? Oshi kina aronga nare na emangye mwenye. And those stories are wild, brah. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I don't care who who is involved or saying. Ah, ah, ah. 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 Okay, honey, to make him sweet or what? I don't know. Do you know that some stories sound so it's stupid true, it's, to be followed? It's not I didn't enough. watch the videos. I didn't hear the whole story. And for me, trust me, ne, uh, I'm just a person that come on media, I post and I'm gone. Yeah. Because I'm too busy in my real life. You see how it was hard for you to get hold of me. <laughs> don't <laughs> you even know, mention You know, for you the... to just get me here, how hard it was. <sighs> for me, I'm such a busy person. And I dedicate my time on important things. Hmm. So for me to look at a thing of people talking about T.B. Joshua when he's dead, for me, does not make sense. It does not make sense. Because already when I heard the whole story, he did this, he did this. For me, it didn't add up. And I felt like, this is just another lie. This is a, a public face. And people have decided, how can he make it still while he's dead? They are, I, I, I decide my own things. You can convince me otherwise. Opo. <laughs> okay, but speaking of busy, mm. like how do you manage? Because ah, you are so busy, and how do you manage your businesses? I told you when I finished my school, I played here. Eh? When I yeah. finished grade 12, I played. I enjoyed my life. I traveled. So you are done with that yeah, part. Yeah, now I'm done with that part. So I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything at the same time. And the problem with me that I have, I work on... Uh, I have always targets that when I'm this age, I must reach, I must achieve this. Mm. Yeah, w my target was when I'm 30, I must have a, a, must, a, a honors degree. And yeah. I made it. And my target now is to make sure that before 35, I'm 32 as I speak now. I mm. must, I must, I must be a doctorate. I have a doc I must have a doctorate on my. Own. So I'm. Um, yeah, yeah. So it, it's 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 something I always put that for now I must do this. For now I must do this. If I'm not done with my doctorate, I must be busy with it. You know that is what I do. So oppression dinner kuipa inikuwa kuipa wa shashi efimbonderi dani na nare kwa mene. So I know already that I'm under pressure. But at the same time, I have time to enjoy. <laughs> I have time for everything. I, I have time to be serious. I have time to enjoy. I have time for my family. I have time for my kids. I have time for my men. Mm. So I have time for everything. But if you don't know me, you might think I'm I'm not focused. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, but no, no. I'm so focused. Uh, yeah. No, so, social media is something else. Yeah, we, we go there to play. And from all the qualification that you mentioned earlier, mm. oh, which one are you using now? None. Trust me, none. And business-wise, what? kind of business you're in? Mm, I'm running a spa. Mm -hmm. I'm into uh, wellness. Yeah. I'm running a spa where we are just... So you're a body doctor? Yeah. I treat the bodies that makes money for you guys, <laughs> you know? So for me, it's just to, to remind you that the body that works for you, you know, mm. when you wake up in the morning, you take a body and then you walk around That's with true. it, you do whatever with it, but you forget to treat this body. It's the body that is working for us. Yeah. And, yeah, uh, right. and many people only come back to remember that the body is important when they are diagnosed with certain sickness. Mm. Now you have uh, sugar, you have diabetes, you have... Uh, eh? Diabetes and sugar is one thing, ne? And which one is yeah, which yeah, one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has gout. Or gout. Yeah, you have gout, you have what, what. And then you see, oh, you have stroke. That's when you remember they are therapists and whatever. But this is something you have to do as a normal life. Whenever you remember to go outside and play with other kids, uh, you go outside, treat yourself or you go outside and drink, remember that you need to treat this body yeah. because when it gives up on you, 
When the body gives up on you, there is nothing you can do. Bam. And for us, we just help the body relax, help the blood circulation, uh, mentally also talk to you sharp, sharp. My, my first experience with my massage mm -mm. story, it's a spa, it's called spa, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my advice that I have, mm. the advice that I have to people, mm -hmm. it was my first time, mm -hmm. and I was chased out of it. Eh? You know, I was single for a very like, long, long time. time. That's why I'm always advising my friends, but bruh, don't go to spa while you're horny. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, it's no, no, not don't safe. go to spa when you are, your intention is uh, something else. Not, not intention, like, yeah. just maybe when you are horny. Or I don't know, how, how, are you, how can you switch your mind? No, I don't know. For me, that's why I always advise people, ne? Hmm. when you are taking alcohol, know why you are drinking. Yeah. When you are eating food, know that you are hungry. Mm -hmm. When you are going to a spa, know that you are tired. You want to relax, you know. Don't go to a place. You cannot go and ask for food when the main thing is you are thirsty. You are thirsty. Yeah. So I always tell people, don't come to me with a different intention, with a different mind. Mind. Many people come in the spa. They tell you, no, will you, if you touch me, will I sleep? They end up sleeping. What? Yeah. Some, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a normal thing. Um, don't go to a spa when you're horny. You are not wrong to say that. Because that's what happened to you. Mm. But men are mostly horny every time. <laughs> it, it, it's not something we can uh, really We are there say. walking horny. Yeah, yeah, you are walking horny. <laughs> so this is something we can't really uh, change or do Guys, anything about it. you heard it. We are naturally horny. Yeah, it's just a so, nature thing. We can't, we yeah. can't even... Yeah, but then, then when okay. you are coming to the spa, mm -hmm. respect, number one, have that self-respect. Yeah. When you don't have self-respect, you have, you have no limitation. How will you respect my job or where I'm practicing if you don't respect yourself? Mm. It's hard. But yourself, if you respect yourself, you put yourself in the shoe. What if this was your daughter doing this job or your sister? You come there with a mentality of receiving the relaxation that is introduced to you. You are coming to relax. That's why many people that come in that spa, they end up sleeping. Damn. But people that come with a certain mentality, <laughs> oh, Shiri, the mind is just there. The, the, that's why we, 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 these treatments are given in a dark area, only a, 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 a hmm. candles light. Because we want you to, it's therapy, guys. And not to start thinking of other, other things. Other things. Yeah. Concentrate. Take a spa. So my massage, timing was wrong. wrong. Yeah, your timing was wrong. Because it was and my wh first what time. The, what, what was the reason that took you there? No, on the other hand, I was going to relax. There was a spa somewhere here in this other complex. Mm -hmm. And there was an old woman there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like... Mm -hmm. Old woman, and you going to relax? Yeah. Ah, oh, report bad timing. Shashing is in a butcher. I don't know the muscles. I mean the. How do you call this now? The nerves, you know, she gets whatever. A number of God. Machine on number and none. I'm going to make it. I'm going to get a good I wake on a man. Good no. Okay. Hi. Okay. Okay. Please security. I need help here. Hmm. I'm bad. I won't quit. No, 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 no. Mm. Like maybe like Oshashi, I was. Uh, oh, she just saw that the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it it was you know one mm. o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I get you. No, no, it happens, and it's but just it, another sign that m the person is normal. Yeah. I think maybe the woman is just not used to that. Y you know, like for me now, seeing a man on a, a naked she, man for me it's normal. It doesn't. She's even, not a bumble though, and she was. She warned me or what? Mm. She's, I think she's a Damara or something. Mm. And is it true that you guys are always experiencing, especially those studies with money, mm. like they always offer you money whenever you are massaging Even them. the people without money, they'll offer you the little they have. So it's, it's something we are used to. But I, I always tell people, ne? Yeah. Uh, many people judge me being a massage therapist. Which I, oh, I'm going to pick up some never know. Mm. Mara, Little did they know that their own friends, their best friends, yeah. are the ones sleeping with their own well, men. They are, yeah. yeah. A, a person that sleeps with your person, or or no, tekuni goshi moye we kushi, or kara ponga pipenyo, nini? Ame kandi kushi. No, no, no. Andi tira kun kun ninga shashashi kandi nchi, you know. So for us, we are just a normal industry. 
just the same as you can find a doctor that sleeps with patients. Patients. Yeah. <coughs> you can find a lawyer that sleeps with clients, the divorcees and what, 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 mm. that. Personality That's does what... not matter which industry you are in. Apparently, if you want uh, a special divorces, mm -hmm. just as I was saying, to, to make it really clear, because this is something that always, um, mm, people, many people look at, they really judge uh, massage therapists that uh, they are just sleeping with guys, just because we are looking at people maybe who are half naked because you are in the ha tower. Happy ending. What is happy ending? Happy ending is uh, something which is mostly provided in um, developed countries. Yeah. Should I say developed countries or big countries? Yeah, countries yeah, yeah. like South Africa, mm. uh, China, Thailand, and uh, those things they do that you have different type of massages. Yeah. You get what you want. You can sleep with the person or the person can make you feel good at the end of the yeah. service. Obviously, these things you can't do them in Namibia. You do the, it with one tate here. Shake it, I can't be rock at you. Oh, I do not give you a tate. You can't do these things, man. And plus, why should I do that with the clients when I can get men everywhere in Namibia? Like for me, men are everywhere. Mm. If I want the men, it's it's up to me to go in my phone book and decide who, either my own or somebody's men. It's very easy for me to get a man. Why should I sleep with my clients or on that small bed? Why should I compromise my yeah, I was my, there once my for, enjoyment. for facial cleaning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why should I compromise my enjoyment just because it's a client? Mm. We don't accept those offers, Shashi. They will put your business down. Imagine somebody offering and you, you get a thousand. Yeah, somebody offering you a thousand. Well, you can work on your three clients and get the thousand. But that thousand can just bring your business to one stop end. One stop. Two. And people don't know how to separate between business and pleasure. Yeah, and that does not matter in what industry. This is what I want to make clear. A doctor can sleep with patients. Uh. A lawyer can sleep with clients. A police officer can sleep with any uh, uh, officer. Had any way to do it? I'm going in a two dappy for doctor, you need more sheep and you need more drunk. I would you can hang around now with you. You know, these things can happen uh, to anybody. Uh, that one is wild. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. This thing has nothing to do with where you work, it yeah. has to do with who you are, Damn. your personality. What do you do? What mm. do you like doing? Who are you? So, this thing has nothing to do with uh, your wrong pain. A, a therapist of wicked to you who have discipline. I mean, I don't know. I know that. 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 Like my inbox is full. My inbox is full. I don't see many messages because people are just there. Just a click away. <laughs> Especially you, the way you are operating from the... Ah, you must, you know, have mm. all the type of guys in your DMs. Yeah, yeah. Politicians. But we, 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 we have guys, we don't have men, you know. Those are two the, different oh, things. Yeah. The guys are many. The, uh, the the sex providers. Thank are God, men. I'm part of the man team. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we have and, all and the donors, uh, the mm. sperm donors. We have all of them. But to find a man, for me to be single at my age is not because uh, you are to propose. Huh? It's not that people don't come and propose ah, us. No, don't lie. But the problem, I'm single. I'm single. What's wrong with that? Jeez. It's not as that I don't get a proposal. As beautiful as you are. Uh, I think, I think that's, that's, that's on the you, issue. Eh? That's the issue. It's because I know my value. I know what I want. I know what I'm worth. And I know who I can listen to. I mean, no problem. I'm too powerful. Powerful women eh, don't need weak men. I mean, when I know I can afford my own ticket, auntie. And most, uh, I, I need a powerful man. A, a man. I need a man. And you being a man to me, you must represent your man shit. You must be a man. So wha wha what's your type? For me, it's a man that can stand his ground without anybody's opinion. Damn. You don't need a brother, a sister, a mother, a father, a friend to tell you what to do, what to like. You make your own decisions and you decide. And in Namibia so far, there is a certain man that I call a man. He did that and he proved us that uh, being a man, you can just be a man and decide whoever you want to, to marry to, no matter what people think or say. You choose your woman. 
you dedicate yourself to that person and that is what i'm looking for but a bit taller you heard it from the horse's mouth itself i don't st- i was hoping here but i don't stand a chance I, no, 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 no. <laughs> so you need the leader yeah, I need a leader because I was uh, brought up by a leader. My dad was very tall, huge. Oh, so, so now oh, I get it. Yeah. And I also have the same problems. Mm-hmm. So my mom is a very, I don't know. My father was blessed to have such a woman. Eh? Mm-hmm. And all these years I've been looking for my mommy's vision in these young ones. Now that is my issue also. I look for my dad because I saw how my dad has been there for my mom. And... Uh, Shaking the monomat. A quality change in a letter, do you? What a word. Yes, so that's a problem. Oh, later, make it a moon. Yeah. Yeah. That's what. Uh, remember if that your was father my first loved point. you enough. That's what trust I told me. you. I grew up in a, a house where there's too much love. And I love home a lot. And over happen over the relationship. You are forced to stay in that relationship <coughs> because you don't like where you came from. You are forced to be in a uh, in a marriage house where you are not happy because you don't want to go back to that car room where you came from, to, to, to that struggling life where your family... So for me, what I decided to do is I fixed home mm. because I love home. Now, any little thing you mess up with me, <laughs> I run home. <laughs> you know, because I find peace at home. Or And your people at home love you and you love yourself. Mm. Trust me, you can easily give that love. Yep. And if you are not getting it back... You can be on your own. You got a point. If you see me, ne, shit. Most of my time, I'm alone in my life, and I am the most happiest person when I'm alone. Me, I don't need anybody to be happy. Did it come again, Yeah. Sometimes you might even think maybe she's with somebody or she's going crazy. <laughs> like I communicate with myself. You see, like most of those v- videos, you people see me yeah. doing. Yeah. On do the now, like. It's just me and me looking at myself mm, with the camera. I'm just yourself. happy. I, I love myself unconditional. That's why no matter what people do or say, I don't believe, I don't care because I know me. Yeah. I've connected with me. Because their opinion yeah. is their opinion. Yeah. And those and opinions got nothing it, to do with and you. And you can't change it. You can't change yeah, how you people think it. about you. No matter how you please them otherwise. So mm. that's why you will never find me pleasing and, people. And you can't make people. everyone happy. That's that's one thing I'm that people money. don't understand. I'm not yes. money. I always tell people I'm not money to be loved by everybody. <laughs> and uh, because I saw something, a, a tweet on, uh, I saw this other tweet on mm. somebody's uh, WhatsApp status saying, I will start focusing on money. Because so I, never, I never made a dollar that I don't yeah. like yeah. You know, something like that <laughs> yeah no no it's true it's true and money is a solution to everything mm. eh? it's a solution to everything so it's a best decision okay guys we are coming to you live from uh benny's entertainment park please if you find yourself in the north make sure you make a turn here they have nice presidential and suit on a very cheap prices check them out please uh silka please uh tell me mm. with all these businesses Mm-hmm. You are making enough money. Mm. And why did you decide to join music? Was it patient or? Oh, that's a nice question to ask, but a very sensitive one to answer again. Because mm-hmm. trust me, ne, I don't remember even doing music. Do you know that? You don't remember? When somebody th- talk about it, it's when I, I remember, oh, I did songs. Oh my God, what was I doing? I think, as I said, 2021 was the most sensitive year for me. Mm -hmm. So I had to look for ways to deal with the pain. Yeah. After losing my dad, yeah. There are wounds all over your body, mm-hmm. and there is nobody. The side, yeah, and there is nobody to help. Yeah. there is nobody to, to 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 lift you up. That is what happened. So I had to look for uncomfortable things. So you went to hide the music. Yeah, I, I had to hide my pain in something. I had to do something to keep myself free. Ever since two thousand and eighteen. 2022 was the only year I didn't go to school. Mm-hmm. If, you f- if you just listen to me saying that I didn't go to school 2022, then meaning I was in pain. 
because my dad uh, passed on just after my I, I, I finished I graduated uh, uh, when I graduated with my bachelor mm -hmm. he was in the hospital I went to pick him from the hospital to take a photo shoot because that time it was most COVID people were not doing ceremonies yeah and then now for my honors he was no more there so that was when I graduated for my honor it was 2022 and that year I decided to take a gap not to study because my brain what does she machine offer every day you go to sleep I wish I, it's either I sleep forever let me not wake up yeah. or when I'm waking up I hope it's still a dream mm. like it's really gone so I had to do things to keep me busy things that I have never done I did a lot in that year I have done even things sometimes I can't maybe talk about but uh, it have made me regret I have lost many people that I like I was very rude, aggressive. I'm like, hey, Inda, if I can lose my dad, who do you think you are? You know, I lost people that were so close in my heart, friends and uh, any other peop uh, type of people in my life. I, I, I made wrong decisions. I misused money. I went to places I was never supposed to go to. I did now music. And do you know what I thank Namibian from a phone? Eh? Mm. Namibians judge me. Okay. When I did this music thing, they judged me, they mocked me, they laughed, and they helped me a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because they you didn't get know. Better yeah, they didn't know the... that when they were mocking me or making me feel humili uh, humil humiliated. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I remember when the Namibian put it on that, no, I released a song and what, 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 what. People were like, she can't sing. And then, you know, now when I read those comments, I forget that my dad passed on. Oh, wow. I look at the comments and people are insulting them. Some are saying, oh, she 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 And when I look at the people that are commenting, are people that even need help. Oh. That's the only thing I thank God. I was never insulted, judged, or mocked by a useful person. Uh -uh. Useful people like me so much. So, so it, it gave me strength to move. You said you don't remember doing music. No. This is the reason why you, you hate called a celebrity. No. Um, I just hate it. Why? I don't feel like I'm a celebrity. You know what happened to me, ne? In case you can't I love talking. Mm -hmm. I'm just a lady that used to love talking. Mm -hmm. When I meet you, and you come on and do a jar on Brukwea, she some guys of Eruja and Brukwea, Mang Brukwea, Yakura, Komauru, or Yanni Moshong, and I will start telling you know uh, at this time people are not wearing like this, wear like this, and uh, you for you. No, I start already talking. Mm. She, she make candy shina. Nenge, when you come to me, I can already sense, no, this person is not going, uh, it's not doing well, it's going through something. Yeah. Are you fine? Are you okay? You can mm. talk to me. Then the person will start telling me their thing. So it's, it's a nature of me. So some people need to hear me, yeah. but they are not where I am. So I started doing videos. I just take my phone, I start talking, and then I record. For me to be who I am today... It's not like I see many Namibian celebrities or many girls or many people in Namibia that are celebrities. It's through being exposed and the way and they became known through unnecessary yeah, 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 yeah. things. But it's something one of uh, an important person told me in Namibia, or let me say most of my uh, followers say on social media that I'm one of the Namibians that got to be known mm -hmm. just through talking. I just did a video. I did many videos. When I was in India, I did videos. When I came to Namibia, South Africa, everywhere I go, I just take videos. I mean, my phone, I do videos. So I didn't know that my videos are touching, you know? And one thing I always tell people, as yeah. I said, I'm not money to be liked by everybody. Shake to popioka video, Toti. Women must bath. Yeah. Women that already bath, they think, who is she to tell us? <laughs> And those that don't want to bath, they are already angry. Angry, yeah. And those that bath, but they, they don't look like they bath, they, are ang they feel like it's them you are offending. And it's true, man, let me go bath, mm. you know? So everything that you say, somebody will feel offended, somebody no, will feel like it's good. No, I don't deep down. Mm -mm. Uh, if there is something, now let me tell you something. Yeah. If there is something I have realized in my power, yeah. I would rather want people to call me an influencer oh not yes. a celebrity not a celebrity and um, i influence people but, but but you did this other video where like people got mad like 
and it was really bad. Are you not maybe uh, afraid of uh, losing brands? Are you not working with any brand? Which video? Oh, the one that, oh, 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 give birth. Yeah. Karunga can get up over she but they do. In a mohai I never knew that in life there is a woman that cannot give birth. Do you know that? But come on. No, 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 no. They say, Kesheshime Oshina Efimbo. Yeah. You learn things as you grow. In my life, I never knew that there is a woman that is a woman that cannot give birth. I didn't know. Jesus. For me, if I'm telling you I gave birth at the age of 17, mm. it's not even something I put any effort on. Yeah. So how do you want to tell me that a normal person who is putting effort on it cannot give birth? <laughs> do you get what I'm trying to say? I didn't know. Only when people got angry, started commenting, there were even some people that took the opportunity to get themselves recognized mm. who were now acting like, yeah, how can she say this as a woman? But there were so many ladies that were trying though. to... I apologize, Ashashi. Mm. I only came to realize later what I said is harmful. Marane, what are women that don't have kids? Ne? Yeah. They like saying, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mara, shashi, yeah. yeah. I'm on this scene, I'm on this scene, I'm on this scene, I'm on this scene, they are trying, uh, but it's not happening, which I didn't know. No, that's, a, sense, my that's a sensitive no, matter. No, trust me, have you ever heard me talking about that ever again? Mm -mm. One no, thing no. about me, I learn from mistakes. If yeah. I do a mistake, I don't repeat it. Because they were, they were hard. No, people were they angry. They came for you. No, very they, they, hard people were angry, but yeah. they were just angry, bitter because of what is going on in their lives. It had nothing no, to do with me. Yeah. Shashi, many people that were were talking bad about me or that were looking for face out yeah. of it. Uh, some of the people are people that have their own miserable life. Shashi vamo vakata meka tava rombringe kuche ah guno teku popire shikano yo yemo ni kusama punda guno tati shike 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 ano vakata meka tava tava rombringe ni makombinga ya mbakweta popinje moz and shiko nu teku rombere ofere nde anguyari and you are like why is this person talking bad about this person and I just came to realize kuche ondakuma o shimashiri sensitive you know at the end of the day ne I'm still 32 no matter no, whether I am, I'm a, yeah. yeah. No matter whether I'm, I'm a mother. I'm old enough to be your husband. Thank you. It's only that I don't stand a chance. Okay. Continue. For me, I became a mother very early, mm -hmm. but that didn't change my age. Now this is one thing that people look at me. They look at me. Ah, okwadara. Mare dura dangi na dishenja. Na dishenja. There are some things I don't know yet. I didn't experience life. Mm. I didn't learn yet. Shashina tango ndi shona me dura. Or she make a happening. So people they look at me and they thought I will know that people there are people that are struggling with that. And it even not I didn't care much on social media. Yeah. It even affected people in my family. My own family members, my aunties, my cousins, they were affected. And they were even asking my mom, how can your daughter say such a thing? Some of us are married, we are not giving birth. Me, I thought my auntie just doesn't want to give birth. You see? Yeah. I didn't know. That's why I came back on media and I apologized. If I do something, I see that what I did was wrong, I always apologize. I'm not ashamed to apologize. So engaging yeah. yourself in such matter or like involve yourself in kind of things, are you not scared of losing your any brand? Like, and how did how did like the are you ambassador of the IOM? <laughs> because I was like, okay, she's ambassador of IOM because I see your pictures all over. <laughs> I'm like, she's not scared of losing the bag or No, no. Uh, that as I said, that was just a mistake that happened. Not a mistake. I meant what I said. Because those I'm videos a proud are mother. still on social media. Yeah, they're they are still there. Yeah. No, for me, what I was saying there in that video, I was just being a proud mother. Oh, yeah. I'm a proud mother and I thank God I did it before time and I was just advising other ladies that are trying to wait until they get married. If you get an opportunity to make your baby, just make your baby. Don't mm. wait until you get married because you don't know if you ever get married. Yeah, maybe Imagine you now not. you wait until 40 for marriage, you never get married and you had a, a potential man to father your child mm. and you let him go because apparently you are waiting for marriage. So nah. that was what I was saying. Just like some ladies are happy that I got married without a kid, mm. you know. We are all proud of what we have. But what is moment. the difference that you do make now? Yeah, whether I say it or not, the fact of life stays there. Okay, so for for me, that I don't see it as a harm. 
and I'm sure for IUM to use my picture, they don't, they never saw harm. In Mangero Hapu, who video Vange, if you check them from a bitter point of view, yeah. from a jealous point of view, from an angry point of view, mm. they are not good. But if you check them on a comfort bed in your nice car, good life, happy, working hard, you will not care. That's why I'm saying, I'm a kind of or unsuccessful people. Oh, yeah. I'm loved by successful people because they see, all they see is entertainment in me, yeah. therapy, they see motivation, they don't see any mockery. But unsuccessful people, they are already bitter. Shake a poem when you could not bitter or Takongo Naro Tarundi de Puchalunga. So for me, I feel like I am so that I studied with them. Yeah. And uh, they think, or they say it apparently, they think I'm a. Because uh, that issue you are talking about is a, a, actually um, sensitive to me because I'm not a brand for IUM. How? Uh, IUM You're not never, a brand ambassador. No, I'm not a brand ambassador, guys. I don't even get a penny nah. from IUM. Ah, you see. Nah. No, I'm telling you the You're truth. You're <laughs> I'm telling you the nah, truth. No, there's no way. There was a time I met one guy ne, at yeah. the service station and he was like, Now, so to I'm like, Oh, boss, I'm going to and I'm going to what I'm putting him. said, No, I'm going to put IUM. You know, that thing made me feel so bad because not even a single penny I got from IUM. No, but how? Number one is uh, IUM, I only permitted them to use my picture once when it was uh, about graduation. As I said, my graduation was done online. Yeah. Not online, but uh, we did um, Mafano, Ike. Mafano, yeah. Yeah, that time there were no ceremonies because it was the time of COVID. COVID, yeah. Yeah, so they asked me, a certain lady in the office asked me, can I use your picture for the mm. graduation? Um, she to no graduation. Yes. Which I didn't have a problem with. Mm. Now this... IUM people decided to continue using my picture. Yeah. So as I'm speaking now, people that are registering to uh, at IUM for 2024, most mm. of them, they were motivated by my picture to go study. But that was not with my permission. I didn't permit IUM to use my picture. I didn't permit them. They never communicated. They never called me. They never asked me. They just stole my picture and used it. And because when I asked the lady... That lady, why did you use my picture? She said, it's because you are an influencer. So they know that from my picture, they can make money. money. But they feel like it's useless for them to give me money because they are using my picture. But it made me feel so bad, Shashi. Imagine they paid, they paid the newspapers where they put my pictures. And they are not paying you for your they picture. Paid the, the, the <laughs> they, they paid the people in that office, in the yeah. marketing office. Mm. Ne? They paid lawyers to come and threaten me. No way. Yeah. Because apparently if I go further and I speak about these things on media, they will sue me. That's what IUM said. But so IUM has sue money how? to sue me, has money to pay lawyers, but they don't have money to pay for using my identity. There is nothing, ne? Andy Kuromboroshiri, if one day mm. I die by Omasonga no Ombazirira, yeah. IUM contributed to it. Tonsi. I'm not lying to you. No, I'm not lying to you. Because <laughs> mentally, mentally, Monse Wanj, yeah. IUM have affected me. Because that yeah. is a damn big university they use that your is making picture? money. Uh, uh, let me just finish. Mm -hmm. IUM is a big university that is making money. That is not a non-profitable uh, non organization. Yeah. To say Pamwe or Akutu a charity. It's a not charity, a charity. Kucha Pamwe, I know Rangiki Feke Fano Rangi or charity. I mean, and different than these friends having small businesses. Whenever they want to use my image on me to market, they pay me. Hmm. And I U M a big institution. Oh, she's going to I U M and they put him at Winga. Because I'm on chat to Angie. I'm in the foot to roll on. I get pangero. I mean, oh, you. No, me. I don't have time for loans. I don't have time to fill those papers to look for loans. I don't have time. I'm too busy. So, on that foot, take occasion. What's your plan? Are you planning to go legal way with them? Uh, a legal way ne with I U M. Why should I go and pay lawyers? Yeah. Somebody that already owes me. I mean, they, those people in the um, marketing department, yeah. they will pay for that. Because they are the ones that decided to act with me, right? To deal with me. Because mm. people talk, ne? your friend is somebody's friend. 
your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend is somebody's friend. Yeah. This is what they are planning. This is what they are doing. Mm. I went live. I spoke about it. And then I, I was like, no, I'm very disappointed. These people really hurt me. There was even a time where I was off social media because I was like, why did IUM choose to use my image, but they don't want to pay me? Uh, I was threatening to go to the manager and the manager did. The manager the marketing department. Yeah. But yeah, let's have a meeting and discuss. Do you know what this man was asking me to do? Mm. Apparently, I must make videos for IUM again promoting their program so that they can pay me. Then I ask him, if I'm if you am doing the videos to be paid, what happened to what mm. happened already in the past? If I'm wearing a gay man, I have to do the food. Oh, okay, I'm like, so you really feel like I'm useful to be used, mm. net, but you don't want to pay me. Do you know what they said? Apparently, I can do video. Then I told them I'm not going to do videos. Already, you are owing me for my picture. That's okay. Pay fair. Nandi ninge ke kucha. Andi ningu video. Ta futunge mara nandu video nandi vaninge amela ame. Tomorrow they will come back and claim for those videos. Yes. And then now I owe them. I'll be the one owing them. But when I made a small research on this uh, IUM marketing manager, I can't see what you've been cooking up and you can't go on a history. Do. Oh, yeah, do um, but in a remember, I mean, I mean, um, but this or quite in a remember, I know me drongo. So for me, it's 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 something that it's beyond me, mm -hmm. but I will never, never forgive IUM. Is that thing that even my qualifications from IUM. I talk about them because I studied for them, mm. I work hard for them, I paid for them, but what institution Just is Just because of that. Yeah. Yeah. I have many people at IUM that are studying there because of me. Some, they saw my picture, they decided to go there. Mm. Some, it's me personally that talked to well, them. Ma, today you call me, you ask me about IUM. How I will tell you about that <laughs> university? Oh, they uh, used my own image. Uh, it's Ayyum. fine. Uh, let's let's play a quick game. Mm. It's called uh, Get to Know You. I'm going to tell you two things. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, why am I worried? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you two things. Yeah. Then you have to choose one mm -hmm. that you will go for. Mm, nine to five job or business? Nine to five job or business? Nine to five job. You'll go for nine to five job. Yeah. Is it nine to five job or business? Nine to five job. Okay. I have done the business. I know how it feels already. I want to try the other side. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alcohol or food? Hey, I love my food. I have never taken alcohol in my life though. Okay. Not part of the game, but it's just a reality. I have never drank. It doesn't even attract me. Uh, I don't know even how people started drinking alcohol. You don't drink? Never. Not even a wine? Never. I don't take alcohol. Come on. If I take you on a day, mm -hmm. will you just drink? Money, money, give the money. Ah, give the money you to can't the drink girl. Money. <laughs> <laughs> give me okay. the money so I see what to do with it. Flying yeah. or driving? Oh, a bro, Friends or cousin? Friends. Love or sex? Both. Ah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> fame or money money rules this world what is the fame giving me guys i'm i'm one of the famous people in namibia i'm mm -hmm. not boasting i'm saying the truth because mm -hmm. every time i enter any shop sometimes on the and the or whatever mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. and then sometimes when you enter the shop and everybody is yeah. looking where you are coming from, I also get worried. Like, what is happening? And I'll also be looking behind to what is going on. And only later I remember, oh. okay, people are seeing as Vida. Yes. You know? They don't know that in mm. person they are strangers to you. I don't know. Trust me. Yes, in yeah. person like this, yeah. they are strangers yeah, no, because no. you don't know them. I don't know people. But people feel medicine. like they know you yeah. because you guys, you just meet on social media. Yeah, they see me. And most of these people that follow me and watch me, I don't even know they exist, you know? Marapi fesha shono shite kumono kweta afana wete kushi. Ofani ndio yoye ko Facebook, but you know? How will I know? Yeah. Well, so I, have, fame, I have thousands of followers. Yeah, for, for me, fame does not pay any bill. So you are, you are choosing money over fame? Yeah, yeah, I'm choosing money. And again, it's the money that I'm damn working for. Because okay, this okay. fame is not paying anything for me, guys. Let me ask you, mm. uh, what is that that you wouldn't do for money? 
uh, a lot, a lot. You can't tell me to kill my loved one for money. Mm -hmm. I can't do that because I love them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can't sleep with somebody that I don't like for money, which is mm -hmm. all, all options we get every day. Yeah. You know, I will not be in Africa. Okay, but let me tell you. Mm -hmm. If I just come to you, that's mm -hmm. Silka, mm -hmm. this 10 million, mm -hmm. I just want you for one night. We got the offers. Uh -huh. and, uh, for me, trust me, for me to be honest, sleeping with somebody is something very sensitive. Mm -hmm. As I say, ne, the person I appear to be, like now you got surprised when I said I don't drink. That is already number one. Yeah. Yeah. So there are, there's a lot of things about me that you only get to know when you get to know me. Yeah. Um, number one, I'm not really a person into sex. Number one. What do you mean you're not into sex? Like, uh, For me, sex is not a priority. But you like it though? No, no. Not that I don't like it. I'm, nat uh, I'm human. It's just because it's part when of When the being nature human. is calling, nature is calling. Yeah. And when I get somebody that I like. Jesus. Yeah, I like. Marane, nando kare to shingo toa changi pito pengo shima rwasha changi pandi kutokunu mariwa we. Now I, I'm that person that it it needs to connect for it to happen. To happen. Yeah, yeah that's why I'm still struggling with life. Shashinge no kakwa ringa wengine no amino toa yandi shingi no na pandi jinge no itampo pina mengine no no ku interview ku tuwe tangu koka. What? Andi kurumbero shit. If no wonder. If that was the case. No wonder Thomas Shangula got mad because he can't afford you. <laughs> but what what really happened between you and Shangola? You guys, you it was crazy all over social media. Eh? You know, you know when you mentioned that name, ne? Or faking no way to see what thing can get wet and then then don't do the get pumped down. You know, when you meet somebody in life, not mm -hmm. really knowing what they want from you. Yeah. It's, it's a very sad thing. Yeah. But the only thing I love about the experience with Thomas Shangula mm -hmm. is that uh, he has woken up my eyes. Yeah. I, I love that about him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never look at the person and think they are good. Yeah. I have seen this guy doing things, things to people, insulting people. Yeah. But when the way he approached me, the way he came to me, he came to me in the way that uh, he was protecting me, uh, protecting me from somebody who wanted him to expose me. Mm. And you know, I, I felt like this is a brother kind mm. of a friend. Oh, no, te akoveta chi. Captain, no, no, te kuro mbele. Ini me show. Oh, no, te kuro mbele tachi. Ah, yeah. Oh, 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 on the foot, wa di ku expose. I mean, this. I mean, this thing ni makura. Wait. Yeah. Openon. Mm hmm. Kuala, o expose. Kushangula. Kushangula. Yeah. Kushangula te aneta chai. Yeah. And it was a real thing. On yeah. Ushiri, I just chopped the uh, guy's crazy. money, but I was not interested in the guy. I chopped the guy's money. <laughs> yeah. But I was not interested in the guy. It's normal. These are things that women do. Yeah. You send me money. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going But if I don't want you, I don't want you. So when this guy came to me to tell me that this is what happened, yeah. I felt like... Uh, this is a friend kind of a thing. Mm. But trust me, I never knew what was in his head. Yeah. And for me, I never concentrated on that. And I concentrated on that. Yeah. To help a third person mm. is something I always do. For me to be on this life, it's not because I'm benefiting much. Yes. It's just because somebody's going to hear, somebody's going to learn something out mm. of it. That's why I'm doing it. So for me, I saw the benefit of Shangula having followers. Me, I have followers. If we talk on certain matters, Matter. we might help certain people. If you saw my social media, me and him was more of just talking matters. Yeah. And trust me, I will not lie to you. Ne? Shangula is not a bad person. No, no, no. I've met no, him. No. I have met him. I have been with him. He's a, a lovely person, good-hearted person uh, that cares even, that cares, cares. He cares. But then uh, a man that wants what he wants and can't talk or say it becomes bitter. Or again, what I have realized between me and Shangula, Shangula kwa kata mekata kuli kine kanu. Oh, yeah. yeah. People started telling him things, but he never had an opportunity to listen if what people are saying is true or not. That is something I came to realize later that made him so bitter. No, and what... Kanu, tapu kine kwa shike unene, shashokwa yene indeshi na daedjiri. Mutu. 
paife ne ndi sha mi hipuri kine ame kandi ne fimbo ro kurombo di poro poro ki ferende kandi ni ferende kandi ni ni mayo amo ndiri ke no normal life wa ri e kucha until today ame kandi shishi kucha shenda ngibi opeke shangura shi tukirenge i don't know ah you guys ah no no it was really bad no it was very bad because some people are saying apparently um you guys you were Dating in silence. And, and, that, and that, that can only be stupid people that can think. I don't know now. And it's a stupid person that can think I have dated a Shangula. Mm -hmm. Or it can be a person that doesn't know me. Mm -hmm. Or just an ignorant. Uh, or she make a shiri oponga or tipuranga. She has been doing a shiri or a shiri. The tara shangura to tara silka. You can sense that it's a tuduru good day. Tara. On when a shiri or a shiri or a shiri or a shiri. We can't. But... I can't deny that I liked him as a friend. Yeah. I liked his personality. I liked his openness. I liked the conversations we had. That's why I did to And that is what I liked about him. So whatever happened between me and him ah, mm. can happen between you and any other friend. Yeah. It has happened between the life of people that talk about this thing. Are you in a relationship? Are you single? <sighs> Maybe I need to plug you, eh? <laughs> I have your match. Oh, problem, man, eh? I'm at your heart, Tirange. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, but yeah, 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 Men yeah, yeah. are afraid of me. And I respect any man that makes a move on me, Shashi. It makes me see Kuchaye. He's oh, a man. <laughs> Many guys are afraid that maybe I will expose them. Many of them, they think I like money. Yeah. Many of them, they just feel like they are not in my league. But in my life, I'm just praying to God to meet a man that I personally love, mm -hmm. not him who loves me more. Because like that, it makes my life more easier. I don't need somebody who loves me or who is the one that wants me a lot and me, I have to push or pretend. Not saying that I haven't met that person, I just need him to man up. I okay. Yeah. to man up and stand on his own. So mm -hmm. one day when he's ready to stand on his own and not listen to the friends, family, and whatsoever. I had, I had, uh, let me catch you. I had you are dating someone from a wealthy family. Or someone of a hapune. Or someone of a hapu. So uh, uh, you, you might not be wrong. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure the person that you have had might be the right one. Okay. I, I love that person. I like that person. But I just want that person to man up and stand on his and own. And is my man, my man that you have been saying in your video? Yes, it's my man, my man forever. Okay. Kuchane, which one from the wealthy, which family mm. you had? Uh, yeah. I don't know which one, but the possibility you might be talking about the same one. Yeah. 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 Since now there are a lot of uh, girls, mm -hmm. let me say ladies, that mm -hmm. look up to you. Like, what, what? What are you telling them that? Uh, what are your last word for them? Um, for any lady, mm -hmm. any youngster looking at me, never look at fame thinking it, uh, it's a big thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm well known. You are known. You, you know me because mm -hmm. of media. But the truth is behind the cameras, I'm a very serious person. Take your life serious. Number one, your health. Always make sure you play it safe avoid sleeping with different guys mm -hmm. avoid thinking money is everything and you must do just like what you asked me what are things i cannot do for money sleeping with guys for money those people bring their evil demonic whatever on you it's just bad luck on your life study hard education imagine i'm talking about qualifications here i didn't talk about little things qualifications mm. i have my bachelor my honors i'm busy with my masters and i'm going further to doctorate so education remains the key do not think these boys are the end of the world do not enjoy life on the moment think of the future so ladies work hard do whatever you have to do take care of yourself remember your health is number one there is nothing if you mess with you can ever get back again we can, we can always not focus on women here. Eh? Mm -hmm. If we realize most of the ladies are killed by men, and what caused this is because men at home, they are not brought to be strong mm. on their own. They are told, no, anything that happens, keep the pain, don't talk. They don't know how to speak out and come back with the strength. They only know how to keep things inside them, and it kills them. As a man, follow a person that loves you. Follow a woman that loves you back. Do not 
force things. I said it here. I'm looking for a man that can love me, that I can also love back. If the person does not love you, do not kill. Women are many. Go to the next one. Men, love yourself and always make sure be the safety of a woman. Don't be the one who is putting a woman's life in danger and killing them. Wow. So. No, that's so profound. Thank you. Wonderful. Mm. Yeah.